Hi, this is Tom Boley, Chief Market Strategist with EarningsBeats.com. And uh, it's a pleasure to join you here today. I'm uh, going to spend some time just showing you a little bit about how we at EarningsBeats um, combine our research platform with the powerful stock chart scan engine. So I want to go ahead and get started and jump right into this. So I'm going to take you over to our chart list page. So everything at EarningsBeats starts with um, our research and putting these chart lists together, which gives us then an opportunity to use the scan engine to scan against our chart list to uncover what we think are really great reward to risk trading candidates. Um, we want to continue to try to mine for opportunities in the market. And by doing a lot of our homework and research up front, that gives us a much better chance uh, to find some of those great trading candidates. So if you look at our website, uh, at Earnings Beats, we have uh, our chart lists uh, set up for our members. And so each one of these chart lists can be uh, downloaded into our members' accounts at Stock Charts, assuming that you have at least an extra membership, so extra or pro membership. And so starting off with our strong earnings chart list, I would say that this is the staple for our um, portfolio of research. This is where we go back, we look at literally thousands of earnings reports to uncover the companies that have beaten Wall Street estimates as to both revenue and earnings per share. And we simply keep track of them on there. We want to make sure those companies are liquid so that they trade at least a couple hundred thousand shares a day. Also, we want to make sure that technically these are companies that look pretty strong and uh, we want to be able to then wait and have some patience and allow stocks to set up for good trading uh, opportunities. So we have two different chart lists. And so our members literally just copy our passwords, click on the links, and are then able to download these right into their stock charts account. Now, if you don't have a stock charts account, you can still use our, um, our chart list, but obviously you won't be able to use the stock chart scan engine uh, against those chart lists. So we would encourage making sure you have membership to both. But in addition to the strong earnings chart list, we also have an accumulation distribution chart list, which became very important in 2020, as many companies during the pandemic back in March and April of 2020 were gapping lower, but then we're responding back to the upside and showing some really strong AD lines. So we keep track of those companies in our strong uh, accumulation distribution chart list. We also have a short squeeze chart list, keeping track of companies that are heavily shorted, also uh, an opportunity for breakouts and potential short squeezes. Then you can go on down the list and see we have strong future earnings chart list, which is a chart list that keeps track of companies that are not on our strong earnings chart list, but are technically sound. Uh, we keep track of companies that raise guidance. So we have a raised guidance chart list. And then we have some other chart lists, uh, which won't spend a whole lot of time on here, but seasonality each month, we also have our portfolios, which we keep track of, our 10 equal weighted stocks that we, uh, we have in these portfolios for 90 days before we replace them and so forth. So that's kind of a quick walkthrough uh, of some of the key research chart lists that we keep at Earnings Beats and that we allow our members to download into their account. But what I really wanna focus on today is use, using the scan engine at Stock Charts and how that uh, fits into our strategy at Earnings Beats. Uh, I think the two most powerful features at Stock Charts are the chart lists and the scan engine. And so I think being able to combine them, using them together, can uh, uncover some really nice trading opportunities. So let, let me walk through some of the things that we would uh, consider doing there. So over on another page at our Earnings Beat site, we have scanning strategies. And these are just very basic scanning strategies, but let me show you how this would work. So I'm gonna start off with just taking a high volume scan. So you can copy the scan syntax that we have on our website, and then we can go over to stock charts and on your dashboard, you can scroll down to the your scans. If for any reason you don't see your scans on your dashboard, what you should do is go up here to the top right corner and check, uh, you can click on this gear shift here and just make sure that you have scans and alerts checked. And if you don't, then check them and then you should be able to go back down and identify your scans area. 
So I've already copied that one very simple scan. So I can just go into the new scan area. All of our chart list, we've already got volume filter. Uh, we've already checked to make sure that they are, all the stocks are liquid. So what we would do here is we just simply go in and uh, uh, paste the scans from our website and then just decide, okay, which chart list do we wanna run this high volume scan against? And what percentage do we wanna use? This is a default 40% uh, of normal daily volume over the last 90 days. Now, this would be a great scan if you're running it at say, you know, 1030 in the morning Eastern time, maybe an hour into the trading day, 40% of daily volume would, would indicate pretty heavy volume. But if you're looking at this at three o'clock in the afternoon and you're an hour from the close, probably just about all of your stocks are going to be selected uh, using this 40% of daily volume. So you might want to up it to say one and a half um, and so forth. Right now, I'm just going to use for this example, uh, I I'll go ahead and use the one and a half. And let's just run this against the strong earnings chart list. So I'm going to pull up my strong earnings chart list, add it. And then we actually have two of these. So I'll add both of those. And so Right now, the way this is set up is if a stock has traded at least one and a half times its average daily volume over the last 90 days, and it's on both of these chart lists, then it'll be selected. Well, there's one problem. These two chart lists have no stocks that are the same. So what we wanna do is, is take the average volume uh, filter and run it against and, uh, uh, these two chart lists using the OR feature. So here I would go in and make sure I have the brackets, double bracket, change this to or, and then pull this up just like this. So this will now pick up anything that's got that heavy volume that's on either one of these two chart lists. And then I can run this scan. Now in this particular session, trading session, we'll see we have three companies that have come up. Now, if you wanna get more companies than what you would do is simply go back here and change the volume filter. So instead of 1.5, maybe we go to 1.25 uh, and that should give you some more uh, stocks to look at. But then normally what I'll do is either uh, put them in scooter order so that I can see which stocks have uh, better relative strength or I might even download them. If, you know, Three stocks I probably would just look at individually. But if I get a scan and it comes back with 20 or 30 stocks, Sometimes I would just store it in a new chart list or maybe in a pre-existing chart list where I can overwrite that chart list. But from this point, then I can go in and see, this is how quickly I can find stocks that have beaten Wall Street estimates as the top and bottom line. They already know they're liquid because I, I make sure that they're liquid before they go into these chart lists. And then they're also technically sound because I wouldn't include them if they didn't meet our criteria for certain technical indicators. So here with XEC, Simerax Energy, you can see this is a stock that's trading with very heavy volume today, um, which is what the scan was intended to capture. And the stock has pulled back to the 50-day moving average. Now, if you're someone who enjoys trading stocks off of 50 days, you can see this is a stock in the energy space that has not had a close below its 50-day moving average since back really uh, at the end of October of 2020. So quickly, we've identified one stock that, you know, has pulled back from $75 to $65 just over the last three or four trading days, and it's testing its 50-day moving average. So no guarantee that it goes higher from this point, but it certainly does present a better reward to risk uh, trade. And that's what we try to do with uh, our combination at Earnings Beats using our research platform, along with the powerful tools that you have at uh, stockcharts.com. So that's one um, stock. Now I can go back and we can take a look at the others real quick. We've got Teneco Automotive, T-E-N. Here's a stock that had been going sideways for a while and then broke out. You can see the heavy volume. Uh, this was back in the first and second week of May. We broke out above that prior high near $13, came back down, tested that 13 level, and we've continued to move higher. Now you can see that the volume again is very strong as we make new highs. So if your strategy is one of a, you know, more of a momentum strategy, then this is a stock that you might be interested in. 
Uh, let's take a look at the third and final one that came up on this scan. And this is Dave and Buster's uh, ticker symbols play. Now this one's got heavy volume, but it's gone down and it's actually below some of the key support levels that I would personally be looking for. Recent lows down at around $41, $42. Also, looks like it's starting to trend a little bit lower, moving down below the moving averages, moving back up testing, and then moving back down. What I would say simply about a stock like this is by using the scan engine at stock charts, it was able to provide us another fairly low um, risk to high reward type of a, of a trade. Um, any kind of a close below $40, I would probably be out of a stock like this. So we're talking about maybe 4% from the current price at 41.49. Recent highs though are up near 50 bucks. So if this was a stock that were to return back above these moving averages, and get back to that March high near $50, we're looking at maybe an $8.50 reward versus a $1.50 risk. And so that's gonna set up for a pretty nice five or six to one reward to risk trade. So that was just one quick scan. One of our favorite scans at earnings beats, uh, as far as you know, a lot of uh, what I hear from our members is our downtrend reversal scan. So this is a scan that looks for uh, companies that have been moving lower for a series of days, in this case, five, to, uh, five days. And so I'm going to copy that. We'll go back over to the scan engine, get rid of all this information. I'm going to now drop in the scan syntax. And so what we're looking for here is when you go back and you read this scan syntax, the daily high has been lower for five straight days. And then today's high is actually greater than the prior days. So for five straight days, we had lower highs. And now all of a sudden we're seeing a higher high. And so we can run this again against any of our chart lists. So you could decide maybe, maybe raised guidance is a chart list that you might be interested in. Now, as you might imagine, sometimes when the market is strong, it's going to be harder to find companies that have been going down for five straight days. But we'll run the scan and we'll just see um, if we come up with anything here. So that's how easy it is to just quickly type in or to copy and paste the scan syntax and then also uh, select the chart list that we want to scan against. So we'll run this scan just to see if anything comes up. I'm going to assume probably no. Um, well, there was one. All right, so we've got cross-country healthcare. So let's pull this chart up and take a look and see. Scooter is 93.3. So we know we have a stock that's been performing pretty well on a relative basis. And if you look the first, second week of May, big volume breakout above this $14 level. Got all the way up to $17. And then we pulled back for about two weeks down to that 15 area. But we kept putting in lower highs. And I'm going to shorten this chart. Let's just look at the last three months. So maybe these uh, candlesticks will look a little bit easier to read. But for five straight days, we had lower highs in play. And then look at what happens today. We actually put in a higher high. Now this may not mean that we're gonna reverse, but you can't end a downtrend until you begin an uptrend. Hopefully that makes sense. So by running this scan, it at least gives us a clue as to a stock that potentially could be reversing. And then we could look at other technical indicators because when I look for a trade, I like to find corroborating technical evidence. I don't wanna just say, oh, the stock was going down for five straight days, it's going higher today, I'm just gonna jump in. It could be a broken stock. It could be one that's been downtrending, went up, uh, tested its 20 day and is poised to drop further. So you really wanna be able to look at the chart to make a more informed decision on whether or not this would be a solid trading candidate. So with CCRN, after making that breakout, we have pulled back, got close to that 20 day, and now we're starting to make that move back to the upside. Now, this particular day, the volume is only 64,000 shares, and you can see the volume has dried up a little bit. Maybe that volume is too light for you. Um, each trader is going to approach uh, trading candidates uh, differently, gonna have different uh, trading strategies. And so you're gonna wanna take all of these things into account to decide whether or not this is something that would work for you. 
Um, let's, and then the other thing you can do with these scans, which I find really uh, um, helpful, is this particular scan, I can go back and say, you know, maybe, maybe five days ago, the market was really weak and we had seen the market move down for five straight days. So I could go in here and kind of do a back test and say, well, starting five days ago, run this scan and see what comes up. Now, again, I don't know if any, but anything will come up here, but let's give it a shot. Um, well, five days ago, we had 11 of these candidates. So you could then go back and back test to see whether or not this would have uncovered some trades that would have worked for you. So let's look at AI, for instance. On AI, you can see five days ago when we were going down, 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 we did reverse. And that began a really nice move to the upside. Uh, since five days ago, we've probably seen close to a 20% move to the upside, maybe 18, 20%. Um, so that's a very interesting potential trade. Let's look at another one. How about AMD? AMD five days ago reversed off of that downtrend and it too uh, made a pretty nice move to the upside. Now it certainly wasn't to the 20% uh, level, but this one was interesting because when you look back, it kind of went back to where we have seen reversals in the past. So we had some corroborating evidence here with AMD. Uh, let's pull up maybe one more. I know Magnite has had a really big run and five days ago, we saw this downtrend end. The higher, excuse me, the, well, the highs were getting lower um, for five straight days, at least five straight days. And then we printed a higher high. And so that would have come up that day on our downtrend reversal scan. And you can see over the course of the last week or so, we've seen a really nice run in Magnite, almost 20% on this one as well. So the whole idea with these scans is to try to find um, candidates quickly. And the stock charts scan engine is powerful and can help us go back and look at work that we've already done. We've already done our homework. And rather than me looking through 600 charts, which is how many charts we have currently on our strong earnings chart list, instead of going through and looking at them chart by chart, we can specify in the scan engine the things that we're, we want to look for. So let me give you an example of another one. If we go back over to the earnings beat scanning strategies page, you can see that I have an RSI 40 to 50 test. So this is just stocks that have seen their RSI move down below 50, but above 40. Now in all of my work, in my experience, I've typically seen stocks that are trending higher. When they go back down into that 40 to 50 zone on the RSI, many times they'll start to see bottoms. So let me, pull this up and put this into the scan engine. And let's run this against our strong future earnings chart list. So we could run it against any of our chart lists or a combination of our chart lists. But uh, just for simplicity, let me just run it against our strong future earnings. So we add that. And so now what this scan is going to do is it's going to take this uh, 40 to 50 RSI scan and apply it to one specific chart list of ours and return any stocks within that chart list that have an RSI between 40 and 50. So I'm gonna run that scan and take a look at the results. 11, again, a very manageable list. So if you're someone who um, really likes to find companies that are pulling back, you don't like to chase, you can still find great companies these are all, look at the scooters. Most of these scooters are high. And the reason that they're high is that they had to be high in order to make it onto our strong future earnings chart list. So we didn't accept any company, any, any stocks or any charts where the scooter was below a certain level at the time that we ran the scan. Um, and I believe that level was probably like 70 or 75, sometimes as high as 80. But you can see most of these are hanging on with very, very strong scooters up in the upper quartile of all companies. So let's take a look at a couple of these charts and get a sense of what you'd be seeing here. Now this, because we're only specifying that, it, that the RSI is between 40 and 50, we don't know for sure. 
and I'm going to go ahead and just change this over to the RSI. We don't know if the RSI was at 70 and it's coming down to 40 to 50 or if it was very weak and now it's coming up. And if you look at this particular stock, AMRS, you'll see a stock that's been downtrending. So this was an oversold bounce up into the 40 to 50 range. This isn't really what we're looking for. We're looking for stocks that are much more, uh, much stronger, have been in uptrends and now are pulling back. Now, if you follow the overall market um, and the strength in the market, you would probably know that the financials and industrials have been pretty strong. So I'm gonna pull up a financial, figuring that this one probably has pulled back, but again, no guarantees, no pun intended, this is a shared guarantee. Um, and in this one, in this case, I think this is what we're looking for. So again, let me swap out the accumulation distribution <clears throat> with the RSI, update the chart. And here you can see, do you see how overbought we were on AGO? We had broken out, we got up to 51, $52 a share. But the problem is if you jump into a stock at this level, you run the risk of just a normal pullback to the 20 day or maybe even the 50 day moving average. And the problem is you're committing your capital for that period of time while you're downtrending. And there's not, a, not really a worse feeling than buying a stock at the high, 51, $52, and then watching it parade lower for about five days back to the 50 day moving average. And about that time, then you're worried it's not gonna hold, you're down 10% or more, and so sometimes the emotions take their toll and you actually get out at a time when maybe you should be thinking about getting in. So when I look at a stock like this, I'm going to annotate and just kind of look at that support resistance line. And you can see the prior high back in March. When we cleared that, look at where we went. We went right back down to that level. Now, again, we could go through all of these hundreds of charts that I have in the chart list to identify the ones that make the most sense, but I don't think that's an effective use of our time. So what we do at Earnings Beats is we create these chart lists for our members, and then our members can run whatever scans they want against our chart list. They can download those chart lists right into their account, run those scans and identify trading candidates over and over and over and over again. And as I mentioned, you can always go back and uh, this one that I ran was as of five days ago, by the way, ago, um, also the ticker symbol. So I hadn't changed that out this starting five days ago. So when you look at AGO, it would have been in our, um, it would have been in the scan five days ago, probably would have been in the scan even further back because you can see the RSI had moved below 50 back as we were approaching the 50 day moving average. So this is just kind of a starter for where you can find some great trading candidates. Um, again, by using our platform, our research platform and the powerful stock charts uh, uh, platform in terms of both chart lists and the scan engine. So just to summarize again, uh, I just wanna point out that when you go through the Earnings Beats website, you'll see the chart list. You can scroll down um, any of these the research that we do, if it's appealing to you, you can download these right into your account. You simply copy this password, go in, hit the link. Now I've already downloaded it, so it may not prompt me for a password. Um, but when it comes up, it'll ask you for the first time anyway, it'll ask you for a password and then you simply type in your password and you go from there. Um, but you, again, you can go through any of these. Now, this one did not prompt me for my password, but you can see how this is set up. And then all you do is you save to the chart list. Once you put your password in, you'll be able to save to a chart list. You can put it into a new list. You can merge it with an old list, or you can replace or overwrite an existing list. So you've got all of those possibilities um, right there in front of you. And then once you've got everything set up, then you can go to our scanning strategies page, copy a scan that you like, or make up your own scan, whatever scan you know you find uh, that would work for you and your trading style, copy it, go into that technical scan workbench and simply type in 
uh, or copy and paste uh, that scan strategy. And once you find a strategy you like, another feature here that I would want to recommend is using uh, this Your Saved Scans. So once you have something typed in, save as, uh, and then type in a name for it, and then you'll have that going forward. So that makes it even quicker to identify some great scans and some great trading opportunities. So that's really what I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed how we use the scan engine at Stock Charts. I think it is a great way to generate some wonderful trading ideas and to, you know, whether you use our platform or whether you generate your own watch lists or chart lists, I think you can use this scan engine powerfully to quickly identify some great reward to risk trading candidates. So I wish you the best of luck in your trading. I hope you find this useful. If so, make sure you like the video. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up. Everybody have a great day. Happy trading. Hey, Grayson Rose here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below. Maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're gonna bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.